hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is eva if you are new here i am a medical assistant and a unit coordinator today i am at my medical assistant job so it will be a day in the life of a medical assistant so if you like medical assistant videos today is the day for you so uh i hope today is a good day and there is interesting stuff going on so i can show you guys what i do daily and yeah let's get ready for work let's go okay you guys so i made it to work my first patient is here and she's gonna get an ekg if you haven't looked at my last video i'll leave a card here my last video have um, when I explained that it's a 10 lead EKG and the placements, I inserted a picture of where the leads goes on the patient chest and body parts. So you can go and look at that previous video to see about the EKG. Okay guys, so this is the EKG that we use and these are the stickers that we put on the patient's chest, their arms and their feet and then we attach this to the bottom of the stickers. And then before we put the stickers on the patients, we clean the area with some alcohol pads. So what we do is wipe the area that we're gonna put the stickers on and then put the stickers. Because sometimes patients come with like lotion on their body so the stickers might not stick fully. So we wipe the area first, let it dry, then put the stickers. If sometimes um, we might have men with like hairy chest, we put tape to hold the stickers in place. And yeah. Okay, so this is how it works. You take the alcohol pad. Let's just imagine that we're gonna put it on my arm so you clean the area, let it dry, get the sticker, and then this is RA means right arm, and then you put it like that. So you can put it here or you can put it here on the shoulder. It doesn't matter, either arm. When I learned EKG in school, we put it here. And when I came to work, they told us to put it here. So either way is fine. But yeah, this is how it is. And then we put it across the chest and the other arm and the feet. Let's just say for example, my arm was hairy and this wasn't sticking fully. Uh, sometimes we take a scissors and cut the hair, um, especially for guys, if they're, or the, oh, oh, so yeah, especially for guys, if their chest is hairy or their legs is hairy, um, let's just say it's not going to stick properly, you take the tape and you put it on, you put it over the sticker, or sometimes we will have to... Sometimes we'll have to get a scissors and cut the hair a little low so that it can stick properly. So this is how it would be with the tape over it. Like that. So yes, this is how we apply the leads to the patient's body. And yeah. Hopefully you guys understand a little better how the EKG is done. So I'm finished with the EKG. I'm just gonna go and clean the room now for my next patient.
Hi you guys, so my next patient is here for a next one on insertion and removal. So she's gonna get the one removed that she has down and she's gonna put another one. So for those of you who don't know, a next one on is a small little rod that they put into your arm. It's a form of birth control and it lasts up to three years. So she's gonna take it out in one arm and get another one in the other arm. So I'm about to set up for those two procedures now. And I'm also gonna print her consent form. So any procedures like that, we need a consent form that the patient has to sign before the doctor even touches them. So that's what I'm about to do right now. And then I'm gonna set up for the procedures. Okay, so this is my setup for both procedures in one. This is the kit we used to remove the first next one on. Oh, you know, I literally thought it was see-through so you guys could have seen what's in here, but I'm sorry. It tells you here though. There's a scalpel, the sponge, the alcohol prep pad, like everything you need to remove the next one on is in here. So first what the doctor will do is use the better dime. This is the better dime. And these are just some lollipops. We call these lollipops. So he's gonna clean the arm with this and then remove the next one on. And then these are some sterile strips to close up the patch in the arm, like, you know. So he's gonna use that. And then now for the insertion, this is the next one on. These are some gauze, another pack of sterile gloves for him. And this is his marker that he's gonna use to mark out the arm. Um, this is the band-aid he's gonna use also to wrap the arms when he's done. And this, I put a little water in this kidney bin with some gauze. This is just to wipe away the excess betadine when he uses it. So this is the setup and I'm about to call the patient and have her sign her consent form now. And also, this is how the bed is. We put two chucks so that when the betadine runs off the arm, it runs on this and not messed up the bed because these soaks up liquid and not spill it on the bed. So we put these two here and yeah. I also forgot to mention for the next one on insertion and removal, the nurse will bring the numbing medication um, when the doctor calls for it. So we do not leave it in the room with the other stuff that we set up. Um, when the doctor needs it, he will call the nurse to bring it. So she will have two doses, one numbing for the removal and one for the insertion. So yeah, I just forgot to mention that part. Okay, you guys, so before any, for each birth control appointment, next one on IUD, birth control pills, we have to do a pregnancy test first. So that's what I'm about to do. took the pipette get some urine put three drops here and then i let it go across and i'll read the results in three minutes so i put it in at 11 54 it is now 11 56 one more minute and then i can officially say that this test is neg negative 
so one lines means negative and two lines means positive if there's no line on the c which means the control that means the test is invalid so it is now 11:57, and the test is negative okay y'all so my morning is done i go to lunch one to two and i will see you guys after lunch bye practice being like you you need to so you can enjoy your food you don't hey you guys welcome back so it is after lunch and i have some virtual visits and i have my schedule here with the patients for virtual visits so i'm just gonna call them uh check in with them just let them know that the doctor will call them at the time of the appointment and ask them a few questions like the same question we will ask if they're here like are you taking medications you know the same question and i'm about to use this phone right here so that's what i'm about to do for the rest of the afternoon So this was after work and we decided to go out for a drink after work and the bar that we went to was called Bar Kila. and then after we went to another bar called La Heradura. <laughs> Yeah. You already know Mexican mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're not pregaming. You know that pregaming? Whoa, what? I think it would like it better with bread. Am I crazy? It tastes good. It's good. But it has that bread one actually. <laughs> I try it. I try it. No, but I know she never does it wrong. She always helped me in in, in any because scenario. The thing is, she should help where she's doing the helping. So she's uh, helping it. Ralph? No. Is it roll ice cream? Uh, there's like icy and ice cream. Like, but it's really good. Heradura looks way too dead for me. Legend of Taekwondo. Ooh. There ain't nobody here. Oh, we could eat outside. So who is she 
here to tell you who you got in the nursery today. I was over here like all right you guys so i am officially home i'm just parked outside i am super super duper tired today was a busy busy day with a lot of stuff going on well the morning was busy the afternoon was a little calm because we had like a couple virtual visits so yeah but anyways, I just want to thank you guys for spending the day with me. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more of this type of video, just let me know. I'll see you guys in my next video. This is the tired hairstyle. The hairstyle you make when you're tired. <laughs> Bye!